software development is a demanding and challenging career that anyone can pursue. It is also one of the best paying careers out there that doesn't really require you to have a degree, a diploma, or any paper qualification in order to be successful at it. With that being said, there are a variety of challenges before and after graduating, from compiling that perfect CV, to struggling, to finding an interview, to actually getting that interview opportunity, preparing for it, and not being able to get the job opportunity. It is sometimes a very uh, depressing process that we sometimes have to go through. But if you can learn and apply the skills that make up a software developer, then you are easily on the right path to actually working at some of the most desired places to work for as a software developer. For instance, Fang. If you don't know what FANG is for some reason, then I really think you need to start getting with the program. If you are learning towards becoming a software developer or a web developer and you don't know what FANG is, then... FANG is essentially the top five tech companies that most software developers would like to see themselves work at at one point in their careers. Namely, these companies are Facebook, uh, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. One thing is for sure, not all of us are going to get the opportunity to work at some of these major tech companies. And that could be for a number of reasons. In my case, for example, I actually got an opportunity at one point to get an interview at Amazon. And uh, I did not follow through with it meaning that I did not accept it. The truth is that I am still learning a lot where I currently am, and I would like to allow myself the time to reach the goals that I have set out for myself, so that by the time I move on to the next chapter in my career, it's as easy as turning over a new page. The other thing is that I never really had a big tech company that I wanted to work for, uh, even as a student, apart from Microsoft. Even then, it was just because it's Microsoft. For me, it was all about, dude, you need to be good at software development. You need to graduate. You need to get your diploma. You need to become a software developer. I, it was something that I actually regret because it was more like I was putting together the pieces of a puzzle without really looking at the bigger picture. These days, I am more about that bigger picture and I work towards it every single day. I know what I have set out for myself and that's exactly what I strive to achieve. It's a good thing to actually look forward to graduating and getting your diploma or your degree. But it's another thing to look at how that graduating and getting that diploma has to do with where you want to work. In other words, how are the requirements of where you want to work line up with what you have to offer? Apart from that degree and that diploma or whatever you may have. What I'm trying to say is it's always a good thing to be aware of the bigger picture of your puzzle and to not have missing pieces. There is often a lot more to it than just salary and it being a cool place to work at. You don't want to end up compensating for a lot more than what you expected. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. If you've gotten this far into the video, then you obviously got the full picture. And all I can ask is that you show support for this video by giving it a like so that uh, someone like yourself can also give it a like and uh, share it with someone else like yourself who can also give it a like <laughs> and so on and so on. Uh, yeah, otherwise this is dev.log signing off. Peace. Did that make any sense?